Nintendo Switch Sports. Let's go! In February of 2022, we were given a showcase of what was to come in the future of Nintendo's library. And honestly, that Nintendo Direct livestream was a pretty big disappointment. One thing that wasn't disappointing, however, was the new Nintendo Switch Sports game was to be released. That was to be a new omission and new entry in the Wii Sports type series. With Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, and now Nintendo Switch Sports. And honestly, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to grab it for myself. So in this video, I'm going to go through everything that I found while playing through the game, things I liked, things I didn't like, and how much fun I had while playing it. So please hit the subscribe button, thank you so much, and let's get into Nintendo Switch Sports. The very first thing you notice when opening this game is just how good everything looks. I know it's a lot, but leave it up to Nintendo to just make something super aesthetically pleasing. With things like the new Animal Crossing game, the new Breath of the Wild game, and this new Nintendo Switch Sports game, Nintendo has been knocking it out of the park with things just looking amazing. To the way the map looks, to the way the home screen looks, to the way your playable character looks, everything is just perfect. It looks so beautiful. Alright, enough of this high praise garbage, let's get to what everyone was ready for, the games. We're going to start with the first game you see on the menu screen, which is Volleyball. Volleyball is played with one Joy-Con and can be played with one, two, up to four players. My favorite way to play is with a friend or someone in your family in the room and be on their team because honestly, that's just the most fun. Playing against the AI in this match is just pretty good because the AI honestly is pretty good and the game isn't too hard. The only thing that's pretty hard is when you have to block and you have to move your Joy-Con stick to block and then bump the ball. There are three methods you can use to progress the ball forward towards the opponent's team net. The bump, which is used by shoving your Joy-Con up in a bumping motion, just like you would in regular volleyball, you know, minus the Joy-Con. The next thing you can do is set, which is just like in regular volleyball, push the Joy-Con above your head and you'll set it. And the last thing you can do is spike, which is pretty different from just spiking in real life. Throw the Joy-Con upwards, and then immediately throw it downwards to spike it. And honestly, the animation is pretty cool for you spiking it. And then there's a replay that plays at the end, which is just, if you score, and you're the one who scored the points, then it kind of boosts your self-esteem a little, and it just looks awesome. Volleyball was one of the most fun games that I played on the Switch, and it's pretty, pretty good because the AI is just so well made. Even though I was playing against rookie difficult AIs because it was my first time playing, the AI is still pretty smart and advanced and I just can't, can't fathom how good the master or highest difficulty AI must be. Overall, I give volleyball for its playability and fun a 7 out of 10. I really, really like the game. It's pretty quick and easy and it's not too difficult unless you want it that way. You can set it to be as difficult as you want. The AI is good and honestly, I just had a grand old time I playing. And from my experience, it's better played with a friend. The next one is Badminton and this one's going to be pretty quick because I honestly don't have a lot to say about this one. This one was probably the least fun out of all of them, which kind of sucks that I'm reviewing it number two because it's actually not that great from what i could tell there's no clear strategy to winning this game the only thing you can kind of do to change it is hold your trigger on your joy con and you know drop shot it at least that's what the game says and it works you know half the time but if you're too late this like little blue thing will follow the birdie and your opponent can spike it down on you that's the main way you'll score in this game because otherwise the court is just too small and there's really no way for you to miss it if you mess up unless you get spiked on of course but this one wasn't that fun so i'm gonna have to rank it a three out of ten because it's just not fun it's slow and you only go up to five points so it feels more like a mini game than an actual match of badminton the next one is bowling i actually really really like this one and it improves wii sports bowling to a factor of about 10. It's so well made and not to mention it's just aesthetically pleasing the way the textures on the bowling ball looks to the way the area you're bowling in looks just super super cool. My favorite thing are the little animations that show when you get a strike or a spare. They're just super super little cutesy animations that add so much to your experience. The thing that I like best about it is there's a new way to bowl. It's bowling simultaneously. 
Instead of having to bowl a frame and then giving it to your friend and he bowls a frame and then giving it to your other friend and she bowls a frame and the thing taking about 30 minutes, you can now all bowl at the same time, up to four players, and you can make the game go relatively quickly and bowl more times. See, it waits for your friends to go and you can all go at the same time and no one will get super far ahead of the other. Super genius. I love this one. It's super fun. Takes everything I loved about Wii Bowling and just improves on it and takes everything I hated about Wii Bowling and throws it away. The only thing I was missing from this was this little thing where, you know, when you throw the ball back in Wii Bowling and everyone jumps up. There's no hidden Easter eggs or secrets in this game like there were in Wii Sports, but honestly, this one is super, super fun. I'm going to rate this one another 7 out of 10. Just another fun game and... As always, best played with a friend. The next one is soccer, and oh my goodness, we're finally getting a really, really good new game. The other ones weren't that great. The new badminton wasn't all that fun, but the new soccer is a ton of fun. My favorite way to play is a 1v1. It kind of reminds me of Rocket League, but it's just so much more fun than Rocket League. It's just the goofiness of the Nintendo Switch sports and the funness and aesthetically pleasingness that Nintendo always carries through. It's so cool. The animations that you kick the ball with are super cool. There's a little bit of like 2D looking animations follow you whenever you kick. And the way you move around is just super satisfying. And honestly, I love it so much. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 just because it's great. And there's more ways to play. You can also play using the leg strap and uh, kick penalty kicks. There's just so many different things to do in this one. But my favorite one is the 1v1. And as always, better played with a friend. Also, I really like the music for the soccer one. It's, it's pretty dope. The next one is another one that I had a lot of fun with. And it's also a new one. It's called Jumbara. Jumbara is the one where, you know, it's the sword fighting one. I can't really explain it. It was seen in Wii Sports Resort, but I can't remember if it was called Jumbara or not. And this one is super fun. There's three different types of swords. The regular sword, the charge sword, and the twin swords, which is basically just two swords. You can block and you can hit people with the swords. It's it's pretty fun, I gotta say. It's, sometimes it's pretty hilarious. The way your characters stumble back and especially the finishing animation is just absolutely crazy. It's so cool and it really makes you feel like you're in an anime a little bit while playing this just because of the style of the game and the style of the animations that are played. My favorite thing to do is be all Skyward Sword at the top after I win. And if you actually go long enough and you draw for the first three matches, you get this, which is actually something that I didn't know until I was recording. You get a very small platform and you only have two chances. Another thing I forgot to mention was your blocking. You can block and your opponents can match the way you're blocking to hit you or they can not hit you. The way the charge sword works is pretty cool. If you block two successfully, you get this supercharged one that does two spaces of damage instead of just knocking him back one and it gives you the upper hand. The charge sword is my way to play. And as always, this one's better played with a friend. And the last one, tennis. Tennis is definitely my favorite one in this one. It's the one they took from Wii Sports and proved on it the most. Because it's on the Nintendo Switch, the motion controls are 10 out of 10. They're so much better and everything just looks cleaner. The animations are better and it's just a more fun way to play tennis. It's definitely not as high paced, I guess, as the Wii one, but this one just takes it to the next level in terms of how fun it is. It's so fun to watch your characters swing and flail their arms and you can freaking teleport across the map to grab it so long as you time your swing correctly. It's more intuitive than the Wii in which way you want to swing it. If you swing your Joy-Con left or Joy-Con right, the ball will go that way. Unlike the Wii one where if you just swing it, it'll just hit it for you. But this one is so much fun, so aesthetically pleasing, and the music in this one is good as well. This one is just so much fun and this one is a 10 out of 10 for sure. And just like in badminton, there's a thing where, you know, if you hit it wrong, which is when you time it wrong, this little blue thing will come up and your opponent can spike it. This doesn't happen often, but it can. And, you know, it's pretty devastating. Also, this is the only one that I found that kind of has an Easter egg. Just like in Wii Sports, if you throw it up and smash your Joy-Con fast enough, you'll perform a super serve, which is really hard to return, even more so than the ones in Wii Sports, and doesn't happen often, happens way less than it did in Wii Sports, but it is nearly impossible to serve. But this one is definitely my, my favorite out of the bunch by far, and yeah, that's it for the sports in Nintendo Switch Sports. 
let's get on to the final in-depth analysis and review. All in all, did I like this game? Absolutely. I enjoyed Nintendo Switch Sports. By now, you should all know how much of a sucker I am for a Nintendo exclusive, but this one was just so well made and so fun. But I want to debunk some of the criticisms I've heard about the game. Some people don't like the way the characters are made, and they felt like the Miis from the Wii have more life to them and have more, you know, personality. While I don't disagree with this, it's not a very good criticism since you can use Miis in Nintendo Switch Sports. A lot of people didn't think you would be able to, but of course, Miis are an integral part to the Nintendo Switch, so of course you can use your Miis. Just go to Customize in the lobby and you should be able to use your Miis. You can use anyone you want. You can make your own, and a lot of people complained that Matt wasn't in the game since he was a really big contender, being the AI that destroys you in both Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. He can be back in the game, so long as you have him as a me, he'll be in the game, ready to face off. So, that's pretty much it. I love Nintendo Switch Sports. All in all, the game's a 9 out of 10. Super, super fun. I'm definitely going to play this game more. Maybe I'll stream it, and I'm not done with it quite yet. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video so others can watch it and leave a comment down below whether or not you liked this video or you liked Nintendo Switch Sports. Feel free to pick up a copy of the game yourself if you want to because of this video or just because you like Nintendo. Thank you so much and as always, I'm Savage Skull and I'll see you on the flip side.